Welcome to our lecture today. This is the very first lecture we are giving through this platform. Um, we'll be talking about chemistry, organic chemistry specifically, and the topic will be reaction and reaction mechanisms. Okay? So if you have any question, you can text via the number that will be displayed to you on the screen, and you you surely receive a response. You can give by text, you can send your, your question by WhatsApp. All right, so let's go straight. Reaction and reaction mechanisms. I'll, I'm going to start with um, the fission reaction, all right, in organic chemistry. Those reactions are very, very important. Now, fission means breakage, breakage, okay? Not, uh, which is opposed to fusion, which is coming together. Now, in, under fission, we have two types of fission. We have homolytic fission, homolytic fission, okay? Which is a reaction that occurs in such a way that the, the covalent bond is being split, but split in such a way that the electrons, okay, which is found in the bond. So meaning, if I have two atoms, all right, which are partaking in a bond, and these two atoms, like in the chlorine atom, they have the same electronegativity. So it means that when I split this bond, these, the electrons here are going to be equally shared. So since the electrons are equally shared, they will lead to the production of radicals. Okay. Radicals are defined as species with an unpaired electron, okay? So you see, they are going to have, each of them will have unpaired electrons, making them to be radicals. That is homolytic fission, homo, equal. Then, they are going to have heterolytic fission. Heterolytic fission. Now, for heterolytic fission, we have the bond splitting, okay, there's also splitting of the covalent bond. But in this case, it is not between at, okay, it's not between a diatomic molecule. It is between two atoms that have different electronegativities. For example, chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So it means that in this bond, the electrons are more, the bond here is polarized because the electrons are put more towards chlorine than towards hydrogen. So hydrogen is partially positive because it is Given the, the electrons are being put away from it, and the ring is partially negative because it is receiving the more of the, it's pulling the electrons more towards itself. So what happens is that when the bond breaks, okay, it is going to give rise to H plus and the Cl minus. So this is hetero because the bond is being split, the electrons are not equally shared. More of the, the all the, uh, the chloride atom, uh, the chloride takes up away all the electrons while the hydrogen goes without any electrons. So that is heterolytic fission. Now this hydrogen here, okay, is electron deficient. This H plus here is electron deficient. So we call it an electrophile, okay, an electrophile. Okay, and uh, Cl minus is a nucleophile. So, radicals are produced by homolytic fission and heterolytic fission is the production of electrophiles and nucleophiles. Okay? Now, uh, apart from this, all right, I would also like to talk about... So, if you are being asked to name the different types of species or different types of reagents that you have in organic chemistry, you should talk about free radicals, nucleophiles and electrophiles. Free radicals are species with an unpaired electron, okay, and they are very, very reactive. Electrophiles are electron, de uh, electron deficient species, and nucleophiles are electron rich species. Okay, those are the simple definitions. Now we'll continue with the concept of inductive effect. Okay. Now for inductive effect, it will be the ability of an element which is bonded to carbon to either donate electrons to carbon or withdraw electrons. For example, if I have a compound like this, 
okay, chloro, methane, and then I have CH. Okay. Now, you see, in this case, chlorine is more electronegative than carbon. Okay. So it would rather tend to pull electrons away from the carbon atom. So we call this phenomenon the negative inductive effect. Then in this case, okay, carbon is more electronegative than sodium. So what happens is that carbon is pulling electrons away from sodium. Okay, so we call this one the plus inductive effect because this group is donating electron, okay, to the carbon atom. Because this group is an electron donating group. So we call this phenomenon the plus inductive effect. So here we are going to experience the plus I effect where the group donates electrons to the carbon atom and here will be the negative inductive effect okay negative i effect or you can write it as uh, i minus and or you can write it as i plus so you have a plus negative inductive effect because the group carries away electrons to the carbon and the plus inductive effect because electron, electrons are being donated to the carbon atom okay so that is that now from we we'll follow by talking about the addition reaction, the substitution reaction, and the elimination reaction. Okay? So, what is an addition reaction? What is a substitution reaction? And what is an elimination elimination? For an addition reaction, it is talking about um, a molecule, okay, two molecules adding together to, uh, to give us one, okay, to give us one product. Like, for example, you can have an alkene, it's an unsaturated molecule, it has multiple bonds, and then you have maybe HCl adding to it to give us maybe um, a halo alkene. So we talk about an addition reaction. With an elimination reaction, groups are being removed together to form multiple bonds, and then we a substitution reaction you have maybe just like the name says one group is substituting the other okay so and a substitution reaction is a reaction in which an atom or group of atoms okay replaces another atom or group of atoms in an organic molecule that is a substitution reaction then when it comes to an addition reaction we have a molecule, okay, adding across a multiple bond in an organic molecule to form a single product. In an elimination reaction, we have a group of groups are being removed from an organic molecule to form multiple bonds, okay? So those are the three types of reactions. Now, I will use an example of, I will start with a substitution reaction. I will use an example to give us the different types of substitution reactions that we are going to have. So, with a substitution reaction, we are going to have um, electrophilic, electrophilic substitution. We are going to have nucleophilic substitution. We will have um, free radical substitution. For elimination, okay, we are going to have just elimination unimolecular and elimination by molecular okay this now this one is talking about the uh, reaction mechanism so we are going to see all of that okay at the proper time then we have the addition reaction for the addition reaction we are talking about okay for the addition we are going to see electrophilic addition okay electrophilic addition we also have nucleophilic addition okay and then we also have free radical addition reaction okay now just for nucleophilic substitution alone okay nucleophilic substitution reaction it has two types we have the sn1 Okay, nucleophilic substitution with the molecular, and we have SN2, nucleophilic substitution by molecular. Okay, we're going to explain all of this when we arrive at that stage. 
Alright? Now, we are going to start proper, proper. 